How are we doing guys and welcome back to another Jacob's Clash episode today. We are on the main account, but we are focusing on wars and clan war league uh, here today. We are going to be showing off my favorite hits from this current war going on. Uh, not for me, but from others, right? I, I want to show you guys uh, what actual good attackers look like. Uh, and again, I want to briefly shout out our clan and, and all of our clan mates. Please look at this. The last, what, what is this? Three, four, five, six, the last half year, all we have done is get promoted. Uh, and we are now currently going in Masters League 2. And I just looked at this for the first time in a while. We have only lost four Standard Wars, including CWL War Days, because we've gone perfect the last three CWL War Days four times in the last three months or 90 days uh it's pretty incredible we have just crazy win streaks here and there uh look at this i don't know what we're doing uh, we must have been going through some turmoil here <laughs> losing two wars in three days like that uh but other than that we all we've done is win uh which is pretty incredible so i'm gonna show off today like i said earlier my favorite attacks from this current war uh, and it starts off with none other than Barb right here. We're losing this war, but I have a feeling we're going to get in our perfect war uh, if I check back here another eight hours or so. Uh, starting off over here with Barb, he starts with his classic Warden walk with the Angry Jelly. Uh, so his goal here is he has the Fireball equipped, and he is going to try to get as much value here as possible. I'm going to make me as small as possible in the corner here. So look, he is trying to walk up get to the scatter shot and right once it targets on the scatter shot he's gonna throw the fireball use the earthquakes to take out the scatter shot and the warden's gonna continue on walking around as you see because he has the angry jellyfish he isn't targeting all of these collectors and getting distracted so now he has made it all the way to this eagle artillery compartment which is creating perfect pathing for the back end of the space for his king and of course all of the super witches he's going to start his queen over here to hopefully help funnel everything back over here i think he got kind of lucky that everything kind of walked back this way like he wanted uh but again i think he would have adapted if something didn't work out he's going to throw in the super witches the apprentice and then the king and siege barracks uh, plus a baby dragon are going to help funnel on this top side use an additional wall breaker and of course this jump is going to be used to get into the main compartment uh, but as you see, look, there is no chance with the fireball used that our uh, super witches are going to go anywhere else other than the core. So we're going to make sure to use our uh, heal, our rage, a couple free spells, and of course an invis spell to make sure we get as deep into this base as possible. Uh, another perfect wall breaker there uh, breaks our king into this monolith compartment. He's actually going to be able to take out this monolith. He procs the poison tower, and he even does some pretty, uh, pretty deadly damage here to the town hall. I think uh, he actually... Yeah, he gets down the town hall before the super witches even get there, which is absolutely incredible. These super, uh, uh, super, uh, what, what are they even called? Super minions in the back are just raining hellfire on, on all of these defenses. And now, finally, the royal champion is thrown in the back end. And look, there's only around 20% left up, but we still have two super witches from what I can see. Every single healer, we have our queen with her ability. Uh, the king has fallen. The warden is still alive in there as well with a back end rage and poison spell. Uh, just use that final freeze spell. This is domination, right? The, the royal champion ability has been popped now. I can 4x this. Uh, but look, pretty much every single hero was alive. And invisibility was swagged. That was a one versus one ability and a refreshing, a refreshing attack strategy versus the normal just root rider spam which root riders are getting a little bit uh, harder now after the the multiple nerfs but it is fun to see a differing attack strategy now i'm going to scroll all the way down here uh to misery hacking uh pina number 19 uh and another very fun attack strategy right here using the super archer blimp uh with the clones and the invises uh, i wish i could be this awesome and use this attack strategy plus uh a sick a very, very sick award ceremony. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. The blimp is going in right now. Going to try to land it here in the core of the base and take out as much as possible. And the plus side is we are pulling some black mines and red mines along the way. We're going to drop double clone, invis spell, rage, uh, and just look at the value that we are going to get with these super archers. Unfortunately, the town hall does not go down here but it really doesn't matter when you get the value like you get right here. As you see, the warden is going in as well and continuing to walk around the base, uh, but pretty much the entire clan castle is dead. 
uh all the infernos are dead the enemy queen is uh, hampered to, to a large ability as well but now we are going to use yes you see it in the left corner we're gonna use super barbarians which is a very fun attack strategy or element to this attack strategy we're gonna throw in now the suey portion of the attack with a couple root riders to tank the king queen and then all of the the super barbarians are going to help funnel all of this into the base and look the the blimp has destroyed 40 percent of the base if the the heroes can destroy another 30 percent then the barbarians which is the majority of your army only has to take up the the trash buildings on the outside plus you have a back-end royal champion yeah it is going to be crushed we're going to 4x this so we can see all the heroes uh walk to this town hall compartment again the root riders they've been nerfed but they have a ton of hp uh, let's slow this down once again royal champion is added on the back end like i said with the ability popped in we still have uh we uh, we still have some extra barbarians being thrown on the back end very very sick uh base design love the war scenery uh but an even better attack by miserate right there let's go to our next attack strategy here uh and i am going to show off root riders root riders are uh, utilized quite a lot i do not use uh, the um what is it called the the it's not the root spell the overgrowth spell sorry I, I blanked there for a second uh but i love seeing the overgrowth spell used here uh elbows is number 12 attacking defender number five here so he is hitting up per se both are town hall 16s uh but impressive nonetheless as you see many of these root rider attack strategies have been uh changed a little bit pretty much i would almost call them more of a valkyrie attack strategy than a root rider attack strategy with how many valkyries are utilized now uh but we are just simply setting up a funnel we're uh, putting the siege barracks on one side the double pekkas coming out are, are are awesome we're using the queen and a couple valkyries along with some root riders to funnel out the left side uh, and i believe yes we do have the healer puppet to keep her alive and then all the root riders warden and king are sent into the core of the base we use an overgrowth spell right on the town hall and the main thing is we are neutralizing the core and the core is pretty deadly right we have uh the eagle artillery we have the poison tower uh we have all of those uh the, the builder huts but the main thing is we can take care of all those clan castle uh, troops which are normally these uh, ice golems which can be really annoying next to the core of the base especially because that's where most of the dps is but as you can see uh, we have these super uh the, again once again super minions cleaning up the back side of the base uh and this is we can 2x this 3x this now the king is now into the core with the giant gauntlet and rage uh yeah you can say goodbye to pretty much everything and again another very dominant attack strategy with the king with the queen still up on the backside queen still hasn't popped her ability it was close towards the backside but i thought i would show off a root rider attack at least but now it is the moment of truth i have shown off a lot of great attacks now we get to show off my attack which hasn't happened quite yet i am going to go to my phone and do it uh as you see i have two attacks remaining i don't trust myself to attack on on, on the pc I'm gonna do it on the phone and we are gonna watch it back and i'm gonna review it like uh first time let's see if we can get a three star all right we are going in on the top side here again another sick scenery uh we're starting off the funnel here with our yetis uh putting in our ice golem king queen we're trying to funnel everything this suey portion into the center of the base i accidentally misclicked all three of my druids here at the beginning i really only wanted to add two of them in i, I like to save one of them for the back end uh for all of my super hog riders i feel like they didn't get the best value they could have right away here they still did some pretty good work keeping my king and uh i guess this electro titan alive but i feel like it was kind of a waste right uh but we are now going in with our super hog portion of the attack again i let one scatter shot shot hit and this eagle artillery was not quite done uh, down yet and it really hurt a lot of our hog riders there and we lost three or four of them right off the rip right there king is walking around the outside of the base queen is walking around the outside of the base and the lecter titan is taking out those ice golems in the core i chose to do my warden ability there pretty early just because i was like oh shoot half of my hog riders just died to giant bombs right there we got to get going here uh the invis tower allows everything to walk around the outside of the base queen is engaging on all of the enemy heroes right here uh she's taking some pretty heavy fire here uh a very late poison that does nothing for me and probably a late 
uh, uh, queen ability as well. On the top side, our king has just gone down, but we've taken down all of uh, the, the scatter shots up there. Queen goes down to the enemy king, uh, but our royal champion is able to take out the town hall. Uh, all of her hog riders, though, die in vain right there to the, the town hall explosion. So again, maybe a slightly early proc ability. Royal champion goes down to the enemy king. Now, there is not a lot left up here, uh, but we don't have a lot of heroes left as well. The enemy king is coming over. We have the Prentice Warden, Electrotine, and our Warden that are all raged up at the moment, along with the Poison Lizard, putting in some work right here. But as you can see in the mistakes that I kind of illustrated throughout there uh, are going to allow us to fall just short here. Again, I, I'm, I'm stubborn, not using Root Riders, even if they're better, trying out the Super Hogs. Can you blame me? Yeah, yeah you probably can. Uh, but that's why I said we were going to start the video with some good attackers. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, want to see more of my videos, help me out by subscribing and liking this video so more people can find it. I will see you guys next time again here for another Jabe's Clash video. Have a great day. Goodbye.